What a bad day for GameStop. This is insane. It went down 30% to becoming 225 and the aftermarket price now being 189. That is bad. Before we look at the numbers and the charts, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed yet, do make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned with all the latest stock update videos. We have a couple more coming out tonight. So stay tuned for BlackBerry and a couple others. That being said, guys, looking at GameStop, it's, pr it's pretty insane. Funny story, guys. When I saw it go down $80 today, I'm like, hey, perfect point. I... From the day I started making GameStop videos, I've said, I, you know, GameStop has left the train for me. I'm going to let the people who bought it enjoy it. And when I saw it go down 80 bucks today, I'm like, oh, diamond hands, baby. I'm like, yo, I'm going to buy in low. I'm going to buy it to dip. And to my surprise, yeah, it went down. But let's see what price I bought it at because I don't remember off the top of my head. All I remember is it said it was it was down 80 bucks. So I'm going to open up my my wealth simple here use my wealth simple code down below we both get $25 currently so i bought wealth simple i, I wealth simple i bought gamestop at $243 and it's currently down $18 but it's actually it's actually down way more cuz it's not showing in my app it doesn't show off the market so that being said what's happening to gamestop let's open up the charts let's look at this here together and we'll go through what happened cuz man it, you, you, some of y'all been thinking amc is starting to look ugly or nokia this is looking bad is this is this the end of wall street bets is is i run over I, I hope not so we're looking here at gamestop okay so obviously friday it closed at 3 30. after market stayed stable uh, we did see some selling okay uh it stayed stable came down but back up but for opening we saw pretty similar to to what it closed at but an insane amount of sales folks we got from it was at 315 all the way down to 300 but here's the thing just like how i bought a dip we had a decent amount of volume of people coming and buying but once it hit 317 again this is what i feel i feel like the people that saw it at 294 were scared they were they were shaking in their boots they were pissing themselves, uh, thinking that it's about to crash. So I think once it recovered, there's a lot of people who kill us out. And we could see a trend from here all the way down, guys. Like, all the way down down okay um obviously the the more people are selling the more and more the value tanks and we tanked it from 315 all the way down to 215 so a hundred dollars which is insane it's interesting how every day is dropping exactly hundred dollars i don't know if that's market manipulation but obviously they wouldn't make that obvious but that, that, that that's just that's that's interesting to me okay now at four at, at 214 obviously there's people that see the opportunity people that feel like they missed it it's time to buy they bought and again anybody who again it's it's, it's trends folks the, the, like the charts don't lie we see probably the fear when someone saw like okay they, they saw a drop here all right that's cool then they saw a drop here the people that are gonna stay the diamond hand stayed then when they got over here the like p imagine guys like if you guys aren't invested in gamestop or, or in stocks in general you're just watching this for entertainment purposes like the reason for this video um you know you'd be like oh man why would you why would you sell like like it's obviously gonna go back up but no guys this is your real money guys i want you to open your wallet pull out some cash and that's real money that you potentially lost a hundred dollars per share not no one is just buying one share i just bought one share right but you gotta understand people bought 200 shares 100 shares 50 shares 25 shares that's two that, just let's just say 25 shares that's twenty five hundred dollars so that's obviously insane so to lose twenty five hundred dollars you'd be scared that's above the average rent depending on where you live okay so i i understand the fear okay but then we saw some people, some people buy it spikes up but again a sell because people probably saw that and they're like okay rise up let's just get out but then again because it was so low we have more people more volume more volume more volume and again downward trend downward trend okay so we see a downward trend from 278 all the way down to about 230 okay and again then we got more volume people are buying at the dips that's fine we, we, we you know we we sell high we buy low but then the trend looks like it continues all the way down right before market close and i think this this is what i will base my opinion on right before the market closed at 215 we see a jump in price uh, because people are buying at the low, okay? And then after market, it's it's a mess. It's it, it's a mess. So we go from 215, 213. No, sorry. We go from 225 down to 186 or 187, depending on how you want to round. That is insane, 
okay because this is the, the new low for GameStop okay um, that being said what is what's the game for tomorrow and this there's, there's definitely a lot of factors um, let's actually close the charts now uh, we, we got we, we, we've, we've narrated the point but there's a lot of factors that are gonna come to play tomorrow folks um, I said this in all of the videos I posted today that once the games once the Robinhood users are able to use a different platform that volume of crowds gonna come in the only issue now is so for someone who never invested before their psychology is all messed up because they bought let's just say 200 they saw it go to 400 and then they saw it crash down because they thought it was gonna go to 1000 so another psychology is all messed up. The second it goes up, we have a good group of people that's going to close right away and secure their profits because they have never been more scared in their life. At that moment, when it went from, from 400 to now 186, that was an eye-opener for a lot of people to realize this is real money. The money you're investing is actual money that it's real. It's tangible money. You could have spent on something else. So for you to lose that on a bet, that's like that psychology has now been put into place. Now we have two investors. We have an investor who's going to be burnt and never going to come back to the stock market again. Only if something hype like this comes back and they'll do it again. They'll burn themselves again. If Bitcoin pops off later, they'll buy Bitcoin. They'll burn themselves again because they are selling at the lows. Okay. Number two is someone who learns their learns from their mistakes. They're going to be like, oh, you know, if this shoots back up to 400, anybody who closed at 180, 200, 250, 300 is going to want to like, like slap themselves because now they realize that oh you know it's it's a game like it, it there's highs there's lows in the marketplace why would you quit right now it's not like like all the wall street bad guys are still saying they're holding their their diamond hands everybody's saying games up to the moon why would you close now now back to price prediction I'm, I'm going all crazy right um it's it's, it's tough to say but one factor i see is that we saw the high volume at the low in my honest opinion, guys, right? And please don't hold me to this. This is my personal opinion. Feel free. Do your own research. Don't buy based off what I'm saying here. Um, but going from 180, again, because a lot of apps are, are still having a lot of control on how many shares you could buy and whatnot, we're probably not going to see a crazy, crazy day tomorrow. Uh, and in my opinion, later in the week, by, by Thursday, we'll see a crazy jump. This is not Thursday prediction. But for tomorrow, I think in my realistic opinion is it'll probably shoot back up to opening price. Uh, you know what? Let's shoot for the, yeah, I'll probably open up at about, not open up. It'll probably peak at about $320. Now, this is going to be if the situation st remains, right, where there's a limit to how much you can buy. The only possibility is for people to sell. Um, granted, we got a lot of people, uh, a lot of the paper hands out of the mix. Um we can probably see this go through 30. The fact is that there's guys just like me and you who wanted to buy GameStop but felt like the trains left the station. This is a major, major re-entry point, guys. And again, this is not I'm not advising you to go buy GameStop. Please do your own research because again, this could still continue to go downward. This could go back to GameStop being worth 40 bucks, right? Not to scare you either. However, there's gonna be my large major group that are buying at the dips, and this is gonna be a perfect time. I think, in my opinion, opening market will be hot. It will be hot, and I, my my guess for tomorrow is we're, we're looking at we're looking at three thirty, if not higher. If we see a lot of new accounts come in, it, it could literally shoot back up to what it once was. So that being said, folks, um, this one is a little bit long because there's so much like it's. it's there's so much going on right now, all right? Um, but that being said, guys, uh, thank you for all the new subscribers, and thank you for all the support. It's been insane. We do have a free Discord community that you can join down below. Uh, we have 150 plus members there. We're talking about what's happening. We're talking about holding GameStop. We're talking about holding AMC. We're talking about all the hot topics related to stocks. So join that community. It's totally free down below. I do have a couple of links down below for as well for, for Walt Simple, for Shakes Pay, and for Coinbase. So check out those links below. And guys, remember, only invest the money you're willing to lose. This is real money money so only invest the money you're willing to lose and until next time guys peace